for joining me today I'm doing a quick walkthrough and mini haul at five below and Dollar Tree make sure you like share and subscribe and now let's head to five below so I found the desk the folding desk it is a whole ten dollars I think it's awesome if you have a small space you're in a dorm room studio apartment I just think it's a great deal I also saw these shelves. I might have shown them in my last video as well, just as part of the walkthrough. They're square wire shelves. I think they'd be very nice decor for your wall. And then I found another hanging piece, a mirror with hooks, which I also think is great for a small space. Put on the back of the door if you just need to check yourself out before you leave. You can place your keys on here, your jewelry, your watches, whatever you wear daily. And then I found these magnetic letter boards. I thought this was so cute. And what's nice is you could probably paint this. It could be a DIY project so that it better fits your decor. And then I saw round rugs. You guys know how hard round rugs are to find. They're a great price, of course, $5. They're a natural weave. And I think they'd be nice in any space, especially an entryway. I also saw some under bed storage and Five Below has great storage options so this is here and then I saw the clear bins I tell you all about all the time, the acrylic bins and they come in blue and pink and I believe I've seen them in sort of a smoky gray. So keep an eye out for those. And then I finally found this rattan shelf. I love it. I think it's a great project idea or even if you really do need it for storage in your home. There also seem to be a lot of rugs in a variety of colors and more shelving options. These are consistent staples at Five Below, so definitely go here when you're looking for some shelving pieces. In this section here, I saw the little hexagon storage shelf. It actually has a drawer that pulls out, which I thought was nice. And then a little desktop stand as well to hold items and a wall mounted shelf. So they have a lot of shelving and desk items for you. I found some cute faux plants, these succulents. I thought they were really nice. And I actually really just like the container that they're in. They give you that modern glam vibe and also would work in a boho type of space. And then the one game I found I hadn't seen was this classic bingo set. It's actually a clear plastic, so it gives off that acrylic vibe. And I thought it would look nice on a tabletop or in a gaming room um, without making it look super traditional. So I had to show you this entryway. They have a whole separate section in this Five Below I went to and they devoted it to some home decor, um, home items at, like a coffee maker you'll see soon, pet supplies and products for your animals, as well as some gaming and electronics. So here there's some plush blankets that are really nice. They even have a sheet set that I thought was nice. It is only three pieces, but you know, if you're in a bind or you're on a budget or you just need something quick, I think this is a great option. And then I finally found the stools with the velvet on them. I've seen them in several walkthroughs, but I was excited to see them here. They look really nice and they would work in any space, especially if you just need additional seating. And we came in here for my sister's dog, Gizmo. She needed to exchange one of the jackets here and we saw all kinds of fun things for your animals like these rain boots for them. There are harnesses and carry bags all for an excellent price point. And then there were, of course, a bunch of toys. I thought this little pooper scooper was nice. Nobody actually wants to touch their animals' uh, feces, right? So to have the shovel would be nice to pick it up. And then there's some more clothing and some more toys as well. And I thought this condiment dipping clip was so fascinating. <laughs> I guess if you're traveling or you eat on the road a lot, this is a great option for you. It can hold everything without you spilling it. And then I also saw this charger, which was really cool too. And so the, here's a bunch of electronics I noticed. This four port type C hub was really nice. And then there's the magnetic, magnetic monitor phone mount. 
I promise you I can talk. I thought that was nice too, especially if you have a meeting or you have to record constantly on Zoom or Teams or something like that. There's some wall mount shelves that hold your camera as well. Really good for our social media people. A webcam blocker. Um, if you get in trouble, <laughs> you can lock up cell phones here in the detention center. I thought this was a fun idea. And then I also thought the neck mount was cool, especially when you're laying in bed. I've been the person who's dead tired and I'm trying to text someone and my phone just like smacks me in the face. Um, and then you're not tired anymore. <laughs> so to avoid that, you do have the neck mount. I think it's really cool, especially if you use your phone to watch videos. Here's a wireless gaming speaker I thought was pretty cool. Definitely for, I would say, the younger crowd. Obviously, it's not a Bose speaker or a JBL, but it is fun and I love that it has the lights. And then they have this whole gaming gear set up. So I think Five Below offers headgear, like speakers, headphones, wireless keyboards, laptop stands, all kinds of things you could use for gaming on a laptop or even just gaming via your TV um, and your, obviously your devices like your Xboxes and your Playstations. And they had a bunch of phone accessories here, cases, chargers, car chargers, and even more speakers. And then I thought <laughs> these were cool. These work with your phone so they make it sound louder. And then down here is a 360 degree view. It spins your phone, which is really cool. And of course there's a charging station here on this light, which is really nice. Um, definitely great for a desk. And there were a lot of items I thought were good for people moving into dorms. Um, of course, anyone with an apartment and I have a house, so I buy plenty of things from Five Below for my living spaces, but there's a lot of comfort items, a lot of massage devices and comfort neck wraps, and even this eye patch here as well. And here's the coffee maker I mentioned earlier. And there's even sort of a waffle iron or a mini grill is what they're calling it. For five bucks, I think that's great. There's no losses if it doesn't work properly. Here's some more dorm items. The trash cans are really nice. They have some really plush pillows and pillowcases that I thought were really soft and enjoyable. Here are some waterproof speakers for your shower. If you're enjoying this content, definitely follow me on Instagram at Fluttering Through so you can see more behind the scenes clips of what I'm doing. I purchased these two items. These collapsible crates are so cute and I was on the hunt for them. They do come in gray if you're looking for a neutral. I just did not see them in my store. I saw pink and I saw blue. So I'm gonna open them for you so you can see them. They're not tiny per se, but I think they're nice for storage space and I thought they would work for me so I could hold separate projects um, in a divided area and know which ones to go back to so I can bring out more content for you all. So they open pretty easily. You just sit it down flat and lift up all four sides. And then they snap together and I was trying to be a little careful because it's definitely time to get the nails redone, but you don't have to be that careful. They literally slide right in um, and they snap so you know that it's sturdy. Another great feature is that these are stackable, which I think is so great. So if you are really looking for that space saving item, these are the ones to get. And now this is the packaging from a light my mom got. I noticed it in the cabinet, which I'll show you shortly. I thought it was awesome. You just add a few AAA batteries and it lights up whenever there's darkness and she just uses them in her cabinets under the sink in the bathroom and she'll probably put one in the cabinet um, by our shower. 
And here it is, it lights up really nicely. It's not blinding you, but it's just what you need if you just wanna peek into your cabinet at night. And now on to Dollar Tree. So at Dollar Tree, there were some things I had been on the hunt for that I hadn't been able to find. Some of which were these essential oils. They are more fall scented, uh, which is really nice, especially if you're into that. I found some harvest scents for my mom. She really likes apple spice scents. There's a pumpkin chai here. Um, I don't do pumpkin smells, but if you do, they have it available. I also picked up several of the white birch. That smelled the best to me. And then they have the caramel scent as well. So these are great for making your home smell like fall since we are nearing that season. And the best thing I found was this pouring medium. So I'm gonna to have to use this in a craft project for you all. I'm really happy to have found that. And there's plenty of decals and stickers, of course. I picked up the Star Wars one. My sister um, and my dad, and really my whole family love the Mandalorian. But my sister in particular is very happy with the child. Um, we even got her a plush toy for Christmas. So hopefully I get to use that on a gift. And then I found wood, which I was really excited about. To find wood in Dollar Tree, given the current pricing, is amazing. So definitely check out your Crafter Square section. There's a lot of nice pieces you can use to build um, small objects. And then I found the Piece de Resistance. These craft scrapers for vinyl, to use with your Cricut, which I don't currently own, but I'm working on it okay, guys. Might be a Christmas gift for myself, we'll see. But I actually found vinyl as well, and you can use this product outside of having a Cricut. I've seen a lot of DIYs done, and I would like to use it for some of my own projects. And I found black, and it sparkles, and I only found two, but I bought them. <laughs> and I'm definitely on the hunt for more. They had rose gold, gold, and silver. And then I went to another Dollar Tree and I found Leopard. Now that was a great find. And then another little piece where these cord holders I thought were nice. And I'm currently planning a children's Halloween party. So I picked up a few items for the holiday as well. And I have these wreaths at home so there'll be a DIY coming soon with the pumpkin rings here. But keep an eye on your Dollar Trees. Thank you for watching. Bye.